Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, unfortunately, I lost for my intro so I hope you don't mind that I'm just re-recording it quickly. But basically in this video, I'm just going to be ranking mermaid themed Lolita dresses because it's my favorite theme and I just wanted to do a more easygoing, relaxed video this week. So let's get right into it and I hope you enjoy. To start, let's do a quick rundown of the tiers that I'm going to use. At the very bottom obviously is the worst of the worst. This is just dresses that I want them to stay away from me for whatever reason. Next, I can only describe this as the disappointed Hank Hill Lita tier. These are those dresses that are almost acceptable but there's one or two things that make them really weird or off-putting so they're just disappointing and they go here. The mid tier is for dresses that are just meh or kind of confusing to the eye so they're definitely not acceptable or great but they're not terrible either so they just go in the middle. Cute banana edit. It's just for those dresses that are perfectly fine, perfectly Lolita. They make me feel at peace but they're not my all-time favorites. And finally, of course, the chads of this list. They are the best dresses in my opinion and the most likely to probably be on my wish list. First up, this is by indie brand Baby Ponytail and it's the Mermaid Castle JSK. This one is quite cute, especially for more toned down coordinates. And the sort of watercolor illustrative style reminds me of children's books or like an illustrated novel. I do think the print repeats too often without enough variation for my taste and two bodices aren't really my favorite type of cut you know where there's nothing on it though for someone whose wardrobe was more casual or they wanted to be able to wear their dresses outside of Lolita that's a great detail for them. I think it's really cute overall but for my personal taste it just goes to the mid tier. Alice and the Pirates Mermaid in the Jewelry Box JSK to me, this is kind of a classic mermaid print. I think most people who are into mermaid themes would know about it, or maybe that's just me. And I do like the print, like the drawing itself, but it's so faded that it's almost impossible to see on the dress. And I don't really get why it's plastered onto the bodice when it gets cut off by the waist anyway. The overall cut is just very uninspired. And I don't know if it's just the stock photo, but it looks super lumpy. Maybe it's overstuffed but it makes it really unappealing and does not make me want to buy it. This one goes in disappointed Hank Hill Lita tier because I am very disappointed in it. I like the print and I like the stripes, but I just cannot like this dress. This is High Newly's Little Mermaid JSK in Saks. Overall, I really love this dress. I don't think it's something that I would personally own in my collection because it's more elegant than super cutesy and super sweet but the bodice has some really nice elegant details to it but the bodice has some really nice details to it that make it not boring but a little more toned down elegant on the mature side of sweet and i really love the drawing in the print there's great color balance and contrast the drawing itself is super nice obviously high newly always has beautiful art and it's just overall really well designed. Even though it's not to my personal taste, I am going to put it in the Chad Lita tier because I don't really see anything wrong with this dress. This is from Leaf or Life. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's a Korean indie brand. This is the Mermaid Cameo Back Bustle JSK. I love bustle cuts and a bustle really lends itself to a more elegant feeling. In this case, I think it brings it into that sort of sweet classic territory since it's a little bit of a historical design element. And I think that goes really well with the cameo idea and the overall design of the print. I love how the silvery details of the bows match the details in the print. And of course, most mermaid dresses are very sweet but I think this, like I said, would lend itself to sweet classic and more mature styling really easily. The only reason it's dropped down to the banana tier is because I think this colorway is actually the least nice of the three. The ivory is much better. To be honest, it is lavender, not Saks or navy, but I wanted to include this dress because I don't think Leaf is talked about enough. This one is also from High Newly, and it's also called Little Mermaid or The Little Mermaid JSK. Not sure why they have like the exact same names. And honestly, I don't really like this dress. I do think the cut is nice and I like that the waist is closer to a natural waist. I like the sort of triangle detail of the lace, but I don't like the rose lace with a mermaid themed 
JSK, which I know is pretty picky, but I'm ranking dresses, so I have to be picky. My biggest issue is how oversaturated and monochromatic the print is because it is so beautiful there's so much effort and quality in it but the saturation and the fact that it's just so monochrome makes it impossible to see anything unless you're really looking at the print up close or have a zoomed in picture a lot of high newly dresses have that saturation and busyness so it's clearly a purposeful choice it's just not my preference so because the print it really is so beautiful and the cut is nice as well i'm gonna put it in the mid tier this dress is from infanta a taobao brand and it is actually still available right now the design of the cut is really beautiful i don't usually love half sleeves but i think it suits this cut really well for the summery mermaid feeling and the light chiffon sort of glittery textured fabric adds detail to it too I also like the waist bow and the two layers of tulle at the bottom. The colors are really beautiful and soft. The print is pretty detailed with just the right amount of contrast for shading and line work. It, it allows the print to be busy without feeling overwhelming and you can still make out what the print is supposed to be. There's a couple things I just don't really like, which is the gingham at the bottom of the dress and the fact that and the fact that that tool hem is sewn directly onto the bottom of the dress instead of on an underskirt or inner layer obviously that's done because it's more economic and it saves money and allows this dress to be more affordable but personally it's a detail i just don't really like that much and i strongly prefer dresses that end and then have an under layer which the lace is attached you can sort of see that you can sort of see what I mean with this uh, Marine Kingdom dress that I'm wearing where the dress ends and then the lace is sewn a bit past the hem of the dress and I think it allows your eye to flow a bit better through the dress towards the bottom that way. Since those are pretty minor details and there's a good reason for the tool to be sewn that way, I'm going to put this in the banana tier. This is Diamond Honey's Fantasy Cosmetics GSK. At least that's what it's called on Low Library, though I've seen it have other names on different websites. Diamond Honey is a Taobao brand. They're also very affordable, but the thing is their overall design sense, I think, leaves a lot to be desired. And I really like this print. I just hate, hate, hate the cut of this dress. I hate the weird poofy sleeves and like the amount of like droopy lace on the bodice and on the sides because it's nice when there's some small lace in the middle but when it's on the sides it's just going to make your bust look wider and that sad bow in the middle and the horrible like little peplum i did consider getting this dress and just like cutting the peplum off but the longer i looked at it the like more irrationally mad it made me <laughs> and i don't know why it makes me so angry i just feel like it looks so it just looks so much like they had a great idea and just not did not put in the effort to execute it and i hate how there's that really long lace trim and the design ends and then there's still like an inch in between the design and the bottom of the dress that's super nitpicky but i think it just totally takes away from the design flow of it and I got the tights from this series and they're just so faded that they're like impossible to wear. So that makes me really suspicious of the quality of the dress. And because of all of those reasons and the fact that it just makes me so mad that such a nice print was wasted on this awful cut, I'm going to put it all the way at the bottom in the last tier in the worst of the worst. Sorry. This is Baby's Kuma Kumia's Marine Island JSK 1. Baby coming through with the ridiculously long names again, but I love this dress so much. Honestly, originally, I wasn't sold on it because I didn't love the brown of the Kumias in the print. I didn't think it suited the other colors that much, but it's really grown on me in time, and the way that the Usakumias and Kumakumias have been designed to look like little sea creatures and are in little seashells and are little mermaids is just so ridiculously cute that I have to love it. And Baby always does really creative, amazing cuts, and this is no exception. The sort of watery, dripping bodice with the bow detail on it is so pretty. And I really do love this sax colorway. The yellow details help the brown blend in, I think. For all those reasons, I'm going to put it in the Chad Lita tier, and it is a dress that's on my wish list. ATPs, this is, 
This is Alice and the Pirates Starry Moonlight Night Siren JSK 1. I think. Don't quote me on that, honestly. So I think the strongest part of this dress is the cut. It's pretty unique with the faux corset belt type situation around the waist. And I do really love natural waist JSKs. We see high waist way more often now, especially with AP, but I think that natural waist can be very flattering and very comfortable, especially compared to a super high waist when you're bustier or have broad shoulders like me. The chain details on the bodice are also really pretty and they have the AATP logo on it, which is a cool touch. For me, the only thing that drops it down to this banana tier is the details of the print are hard to see and are a bit washed out, especially with the water at the bottom, which has a ton of detail in it. I think it kind of takes away from the beauty of the print because once you look at it up close, there's a lot of hidden details and it is really just a gorgeous print. Though I do have to say the other JSK cut of this dress is straight up evil. It is Chateau de Cume JSK, obviously in Saks, and I just was so angry when this dress came out. I love Kira Imai's illustrations and I love AP and I have, you know, a bunch of AP mermaid prints. So I wanted to like this so, so bad, but oh man, I just do not like this dress. The worst offense to me is the really shiny polyester that drapes in the weirdest way possible. There was pictures released of it before it was up for sale and it really looked terrible on the mannequin and not much better on the model. And I hate the bodice and the half sleeves with a burning passion. Those half sleeves look like it would be impossible to wear it with a nice blouse with you know any detail because they sit at the weirdest spot and the sort of crisscross lace on the bodice I think is a nice concept. I think it just goes too wide. If it was a smaller V, I think it would be more flattering on a bigger variety of body types. But yeah, there's just so many details of it that are off. I do like the print, but it doesn't really appeal to me as much as my other mermaid themed dresses. I don't know if it's because there's like these random dark elements in the print or I just feel like it's all very compressed and small, so the details are not that easy to see. So obviously because of all of these reasons, it goes in the bottom tier. Really that shiny, terrible poly would be enough to put it in the bottom tier because paying AP prices for that is just unjustifiable in my opinion. Though the pink one is on sale for like a hundred bucks on AP Japan right now. So hey, maybe if you like the dress, go pick it up. But to be honest, this dress is my Joker origin story because of how mad it makes me. This is our first meta dress and it is the Mermaid Princess Angel Pinafore JSK. Whew, you'd think Baby had named it with that kind of name. It really just embodies the vibe of this confusing mid-tier category because overall I'm not sure how to feel about it. It's not terrible, it's definitely not the worst, but the prince colors are what throw me off the most. The super bright red and gold and there's browns. I don't think it's the best combination. It doesn't look terrible with navy, it gives a kind of piratey high seas vibe adventure details but it's really just not for me though i do again think because of like this pirate vibe it works in an odd way there are a lot of details that i do like there's scalloped lace and the bows on the bodice have seashell charms which i think is really cute the half sleeves can be brought up or worn down and there's actually straps under it and that's really cool but I prefer it without the giant lace straps. I think this dress would look pretty good corded because you can bring out the gold or red details. And it's not terrible in my opinion. It looks like the quality of it would be pretty good. Normally meta is, but I think it's just a bunch of confusing design choices that don't make it terrible, but just really prevent it from being great. So it's going in the confusing tier. I promise I would only put one dress I own on this list for fairness, and I chose this one. I have it in pink and I used to have it in mint, but I've never owned the Saks colorway, though I do think it's really cute. I love 
all of the details of this dress, but especially the layers of tulle on the bodice with a detachable bow. And I just love Kira Emai's art, of course. This is such a beautiful, simple print. There's small details in it like little fish and the castle, but I love how strongly it relies on silhouette. And of course, the glitter screen print is a detail that AP doesn't do anymore and it's so beautiful, I wish they would bring it back. Obviously overwhelming praise, so this dress goes in the Chad Lita tier. I also think the bustier is not very common, especially in Sweet Lolita, so I love that unique detail about this dress. This is from Neverland Lolita, which is also called Souffle Song. Uh, it's a Taobao brand, and this dress is called Mermaid Song High Waist JSK. At first glance, it seems okay, but the longer I looked at it, the less and less I liked it. The cut to me is kind of weird, the high waist with the skirt that doesn't look like it could hold much of a petty, I don't think is a cute combination. The print is really hard to make out. It's kind of blocky and there's not enough detail in the line work to make the silhouettes really clear. And overall, the construction is kind of lacking in the sense that there's not much detail to it. And the fabric looks really shiny even in the stock photos, which is not cute ever. Souffle Song is generally pretty affordable, but their quality has dipped pretty severely over the last two years from the reviews I've seen, so I wouldn't really recommend them. And you can kind of see that this dress is pretty cheap and underdesigned in certain areas, and the shiny fabric really just puts this into the disappointed Hank Hill Lita tier, because I think it could be a cute dress, and it's not a bad concept. It just is executed in a way that is kind of lacking. Angelic Pretty's Unicorn Mermaid JSK. Allegedly, this is Saks. Okay, I mean, it looks mint to me, but whatever. <laughs> this may be controversial, but I do actually really like this dress. I don't think it was very popular, and I assume that's mostly because the print is hard to see under the chiffon layer, and it is super high-waisted. And because it is super high-waisted, it is going into the Binyanya tier and not the one above, but hear me out. This detail on the straps is really pretty. There's sort of these layered circles like pearls with a star button, and I really love the print. I think it's just super cute and fun. There's, I don't know where this idea of like horses with mermaid tails came from. I'm sure it's like ancient mythology, but I think that's a really cute detail to work into a Lolita dress. And I actually do like the chiffon overlay because then the print is a little more toned down and there's some pretty details on it with the little bows too. But again, the super high waist is just not flattering on me and on a lot of people. And that's the only reason this dress isn't on my wish list too. And that's why it is not going into the Chad. Well, that was the last address and that means my extremely subjective, unprofessional ranking is done. I'd love to know what you guys thought of these dresses. Maybe let me know which one was your absolute favorite and which one is the worst to you and if you agreed with my ranking or maybe you thought I was wrong about absolutely everything. I would love to chat. I love making lookbooks and I will get back to it, but they are very complicated and long to make, so I thought it'd be fun to just do something a little more silly. So I will see you guys in my next video, but until then, um, bye!